Today, South Africa's development critically relies on the issue of energy transition. As the second most important economic power on the continent, South Africa's economy is very energy intensive and coal weighs heavily in the country's energy mix, making it the largest emitter of greenhouse gases in Africa, with over 500 million tons of CO2 per annum. Over the past decade, electricity demand has increased by 20%, thus outstripping the country's power generation capacity and putting the country's economic and social development in jeopardy. In order to sustain its growth, South Africa has committed to generating additional energy capacity that is less polluting and less costly. Today, the country needs to rise up to the challenge of a green energy transition and to find ways of involving all economic actors in setting the country on a sustainable development and growth pathway. In this context of energy and environmental transition, the French development agency AFD in 2012 launched SUNREF, Sustainable Use of Natural Resources and Energy Finance in South Africa. The program aims to help private actors seize opportunities presented by this transition and to encourage local banks to finance it in a sustainable way. The objective of SUNREF, the AFD's green finance label, is to facilitate access to affordable and sustainable energy, thus ensuring the development of a low-carbon economy and contributing to mitigating the causes of climate change. SUNREF thus supports the emergence of a green energy market in South Africa by granting a line of credit amounting to 120 million euros to three South African banks, with the aim of offering tailor-made investments to enterprises willing to optimize their energy consumption and willing to reduce their ecological footprint whilst increasing their competitiveness. In this context, over 62 renewable energy projects were launched in South Africa. Bio2Watt is one of the first enterprises that have benefited from the SUNREF program in South Africa thanks to a loan amounting to 7.4 million euros. Sean Thomas is an entrepreneur who has developed a unique renewable energy project on the African continent. He has set up a biogas power station that produces electricity from liquid manure generated by the nearby breeding operation of 40,000 cattle. Each day, 120 tons of liquid manure and other sources of organic waste are blended to produce 4.4 megawatts of electricity. It's a, a biological process that takes place, like a fermentation. The waste goes, goes into a tank uh, in an oxygen-free environment. And very simply, the bacteria in the plant breaks down the waste. And while breaking down the waste, they produce methane. Today, Bio2Watt sells this energy to a car manufacturer that has managed to reduce the CO2 emissions emanating from the factory by 36,000 tons per annum. The project has become a model of green investment in Africa and has contributed to creating over 50 direct and indirect jobs. In spite of the technical and financial viability of this biogas project, Sean Thomas struggled to access finance from commercial banks. Initially, because we had the power crisis and the issues with waste, I thought the process was going to be very quick. So I left my corporate job in 2007 to start on the project. However, we were not able to get financing from normal commercial banks in, in South Africa. The, the credit line from IDC and AFD uh, was structured in a way where it actually could make the project uh, financially viable. As key actors of the private sector, local banks play a critical role in financing the ecological transition and green investments. The SUNREF program also supports banks in offering sustainable green finance. 
This line is very relevant because it is, first of all, it's provided as a term facility. It's provided to the bank against specific criteria, and that criteria is to encourage people to change behaviours and make significant progress in reducing both emissions as well as the view of how we treat energy. Because a lot of people see green and they see handouts, they see subsidies, they see charity. This is not what this credit line is about. This credit line is about operationalizing and removing hurdles and barriers to allow for the commercialization of green and alternative energy. By making available financial resources, adapting to the financing of renewable energy and energy efficiency projects, Sunref has contributed to the emergence of a green finance market. Le programme SUNREF est un succès en, en Afrique du Sud parce que nous avons vraiment convaincu nos banques partenaires que c'était leur futur marché. The innovation of SUNREF rests on a financial and a technical approach. Complementing the green line of credit, the SUNREF program also provides technical support to the banks to strengthen their capacity in managing the financing of green energy projects but it also supports enterprises in better structuring their projects both at a technical and at a financial level. The project has really decollated when the assistance technique has arrived, has taken its place, has started to work with the banks. And there, the decaissement, so the number of projects, has gone up in flash. And in the space of 18-24 months, everything has been decaissed. The technical support is housed in Johannesburg at Sanity, the South African National Energy Development Institute. The technical advisory facility plays a very, very important role because it goes two ways. It's about supporting the developer, but also supporting a financing institution that up until now has not necessarily been funding energy efficiency projects because it's different when you fund energy efficiency to when you fund renewable energy. With renewable energy, you're sitting with an asset. There's a tangible wind farm that's sitting out there, you can see it. With energy efficiency, it's more abstract. It's about an energy saving, it's kilowatt hours off the system. And banks are always, as you know, risk averse. So they need some surety that it's going to work, it's going to make money, and that's really where the technical advisory assistance comes into its own. LVG is the largest horticultural producer in the country, with a farming area of heated greenhouses spreading over 80,000 square meters. We are keeping between one and a half and two million plants in stock each and every day. As you can imagine, all of those plants require water. Most of our products are irrigated with a drip irrigation. Um, the energy side of it is we mostly need to generate a specific climate for each individual product. Those products we need to create at a certain temperature to enable us to do that. We need to both heat and cool our greenhouses. Aware of its ecological footprint on the environment and of the associated costs, this enterprise has in 2015 replaced its coal-based heating system with thermal solar panels, representing an installed capacity of 8 megawatts, thanks to a Sunref financing amounting to 1.4 million euros. On a normal day in the summertime, if it was raining and that, we had to start the boiler. At the moment, we are still using about half a ton of coal per hour. And with the panels, we don't use any coal at all. So um, there's a big saving at the, end, uh, at the end of the day. During the day, we do have a computer system that's connected to our climate system. And uh, with that, you can see exactly what is going on with uh, the solar panels. And from there, you can see how much energy you're going to need for the night and that, yeah. The installation of these thermal solar panels is a first in the horticultural sector of the country. It enabled the enterprise to replace 80% of its coal consumption with solar thermal energy and to reduce its emissions by 9,460 tonnes of CO2 per annum. 
in the funding of AFD. Well, it wasn't only useful, I think it was critical to the development of this project. Uh, it also opened up a lot of doors in our horticultural sector for renewable energy. I think you always heard about the, the climate change, but you didn't really pay much uh, attention to it. But if you see what's happening around the world, uh, we had to jump in. We as, as businessmen have to jump in and make a difference for our future generations. In order to encourage the private sector to invest in energy effectiveness or renewable energy projects, the financial conditions of the loan that is granted to the entrepreneur are adapted to the proposed innovating project. Criteria such as project size and technology determine the granting of Sunref financing. The projects that are brought from Interpreneurs have to be renewable energy or energy efficiency projects. So that will be the first criteria for eligibility. And over and above that, as IDC earlier, we would apply our own uh, processes. So we we'll look at things like developmental impact uh, and, and the innovation aspect of it, of course. And obviously, as I said, it has to speak to green economy because that was a key focus at that particular point in time. The SunREF program supports renewable energy and energy efficiency projects that allow for reducing the consumption of energy and the associated costs for the enterprise by replacing obsolete equipment with new equipment that rely on green technologies and thus results in improving their competitiveness. The enterprise Sustainable Heatings fitted in this niche thanks to a Sunref financing of 1 million euros. It provides manufacturers with a water vapor generation system that is produced through a biomass heating plant installed next to the customer factory. The industrial bakery Sasco opted for this solution to replace two expensive gas-fired boilers. A wood-fired boiler fueled by wood from a window factory located nearby has enabled a reduction of 2,250 tons of CO2 emissions per annum with an installed capacity of 2.1 megawatt. The wood is uh, recycled carbon, which is uh, adding nothing to our carbon footprint. That's the major drive, and we can produce it cheaper. So industry is very happy to have us on board, because they can promote themselves as being energy efficient, carbon free, etc. The hospital complex NetCare received the support of Sunref for installing low consumption lighting and air conditioning systems, but also PV panels with a total capacity of 11 megawatts, which enabled it to decrease its CO2 emissions by 70,000 tons per annum. The establishment has become a model of high standards in energy efficiency in South Africa. Dans le cadre de ce projet NetCare, on a donc financé un des grands groupes hospitaliers d'Afrique du Sud qui, sur 90 sites en Afrique du Sud, a mis en place de l'efficacité énergétique et des énergies renouvelables. On pense que c'est très important parce que ça peut avoir un effet d'entraînement sur l'ensemble des grands groupes hospitaliers et des, des grandes entreprises d'Afrique du Sud pour montrer que oui, ça marche, oui, c'est rentable et oui, c'est possible. The Sunref program enabled many companies to achieve cost savings and to increase their competitiveness by improving their management of energy and by taking the environment into account. It also contributed to sustaining the activity of certain companies, such as Universal Paper, which without the Sunref financing would have gone bankrupt, thus contributing to protecting jobs. The firm manufactures paper napkins and toilet paper Thanks to the Sunref financing amounting to 6.8 million euros, it managed to purchase more powerful and less polluting machines and to reduce the factory's energy intensity by 50%. We eventually came across the IDC, the Industrial Development Corporation, and together with AFD, they have provided us various loans to finance this new project of ours. The biggest advantage being in terms of efficiencies, we are able to produce more paper uh, at a lower cost, and in terms of the utilities, we're able to bring down our electricity consumption, our water consumption, as well as our steam consumption. 
the South African SunRef program has resulted in enticing local banks to finance the transition towards a greener model, thanks to credit lines aligned with the national stake, focused on developing an energy mix based on renewable energy and on the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. It also led to strengthening the capacity of banks in their management of green investments thanks to the technical support provided not only to financial institutions but also to project carriers. Combining a technical and a financial approach indisputably allowed the emergence of green businesses in South Africa and of a private sector that fosters sustainable solutions while promoting a sustainable socio-economic and environment-friendly development.